Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make swatches. So for these swatches, I used a Hanes t-shirt. I don't like to use them for my tie-dye because I think they're just too small. I treated it like I would any t-shirt. I soaked it in soda ash and then I spun it out until it was barely damp. I used my yardstick to make a grid, just a basic outline so that it would be easy to cut, and then I sent it off to my cutting machine. And let me introduce you to my cutting machine, Joyce. She's my inspiration for tie-dye. So I mix up dye using my small batch recipe and I use a permanent marker to label the swatches. Treat the swatches like you would a regular t-shirt. Once you get all the dye on, batch them for 24 to 48 hours depending upon your preference. So now it's time to rinse. Start by using cold water. That will stop any soda ash that might be left in the fabric. Then increase the water up to very warm, almost hot. From here, go into the washing machine and do a hot water cycle. Do another hot water cycle using textile detergent. And then you can follow up using another hot water cycle with Millsoft. That softens the fabric up.
Here are the swatches after they've been washed and dried. They come in really handy when designing tie dye. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my new growing channel. Give me a thumbs up and click the bell for future notifications. And have fun tie dyeing.